You know, personally, I really hope the remaster is for one of the Zelda 35th Anniversary games. Well, Zelda games now, I guess, since Zelda's 35th Anniversary has passed and Nintendo barely celebrated it. I mean, just imagine, just for a minute, playing games like The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, or even a remake for the Minish Cap. And this doesn't even count other big Nintendo Switch games that are still coming. By the way, which games do you want to remaster or remake for? Hey guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the Robo Chancho, where we take the gaming news format that channels like Spawn with our Arlo do, add a dash of animation, and some cool editing on top to bring you your gaming news, leaks, and rumors in a fresh new way. If you're new here and want to be kept up on everything gaming, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoy the video and dislike if not. In this video, we are going to talk about the latest news and Nintendo Switch leaks that point to huge news coming very soon for upcoming Nintendo Switch games and potential Nintendo Switch games that could be revealed. And with that June Nintendo Direct coming very soon, I'm sure this will get you excited just as I am. These new Nintendo Switch games could range from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker hitting the Nintendo Switch, a remake of a Zelda game maybe, a Kid Icarus Uprising remake or remaster, or heck, maybe even Star Fox Adventures or Pokemon Coliseum 1 and XD Gale of darkness those could come back too though i'll be honest that is not really an action game that's kind of just a personal wish and for you pokemon gen 9 fans a leak could tell us when we could see more info on these games and we might not have to wait too long and it might be before the e3 nintendo direct or what was the e3 nintendo direct if you guys enjoy this video, leave a like, it helps the video out when you do, and if you want to follow me on Twitter and help me reach my goal of 900 followers, you can follow me at Roborob93. Without further delay, let's talk about some Nintendo stuff. So the Nintendo lineup for the next couple years is insanely good. There are a lot of big hitters in the canon like Bayonetta 3, Splatoon 3, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, and even games like Metroid Prime 4. These alone are huge releases for the Nintendo Switch. When you factor in third party games and any games like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge, you can definitely say yeah, Nintendo is going to have a fantastic couple years over the next couple years. The Nintendo Switch brand is going to grow to an insane height as all of these games release, but for all the Nintendo Switch games we know exist, there are plenty of Nintendo games that us Nintendo fans would like to see come back as well. Now remember guys, these are just listings, so even though I'm sure we all have these huge games for a remaster or remake in our heads, let's not try to get too excited. But let's be honest, we're gonna get excited either way. So if you have not heard yet, Bandai Namco is being contracted by Nintendo for a remaster and a remake of a 3D action game. Right now on your screen, you should be seeing the screen grabs that I have of the official website for the postings, which come from the official website of Bandai Namco Studio. So this isn't from a Nintendo leaker or an inside source, this is directly from the company's website. Now for fun, let's speculate on what games could come in the form of a remaster and a remake. First up is kind of obvious and what was in the thumbnail, and that's a collection of 3D Zelda games, or single releases depending on what Nintendo would want to do with these games. Now, we know that Nintendo treated the Zelda 35th anniversary, or I guess Link's anniversary, because he is the main character of the game. But tomato, tomato, you guys know what I mean. We know that Nintendo treated it in a very strange way, right? The Legend of Zelda, one of Nintendo's biggest franchises, and we just got a Mr. Game & Watch device, and that's it. I guess you could say that Skyward Sword was also for Zelda's 35th anniversary as well. But I mean, Mario's 35th anniversary got three games, a bunch of merchandise, in-game events, and so on. So why not bring up any past Zelda games, even if it's after Zelda's 35th anniversary, especially with so many Wii U ports hitting the Nintendo Switch? And by the way, if you reach this part of the video, here's a cookie. Make sure you leave your cookie emoji next to your comment if you end up commenting. Now other than those, we also have to keep in mind that this is Bandai Namco. I could see them doing the Zelda games for Nintendo, but there are other games that I think would fit them more better. Nintendo Everything brings up an important point that gives me an idea for past Pokemon games, which oddly enough, news for Pokemon could be coming very soon, but I'll talk about that later. Nintendo Everything has mentioned that they contributed with not only Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and ARMS, but Bandai Namco was also involved in the development of Pokemon Tournament and new Pokemon Snap. And these games look fantastic. In fact, I'd say they're much better than what Game Freak has done with the recent Pokemon games, strictly speaking from a visual point of view. So for those who are going to type in the comment about gameplay, that's not what I mean. I'm just talking about visuals. Well, I think it would be really cool to have Kid Icarus on the Nintendo Switch, the 3DS version specifically, Kid Icarus Uprise, and not the older games, though that would be pretty cool as well. Now, there is a big problem that comes with Kid Icarus Uprising 
coming on the Nintendo Switch, and it may not even be possible. Now, keyword there is may not be possible, so it could still be possible, it would just be incredibly difficult for the developers. If you guys didn't know, Sakurai has said that it might not even be possible to port the game to the Nintendo Switch. Now, a remaster of the game may not be possible, but what about a ground up remake? This would not only fix the problems with the controls that make it pretty much impossible, but it would be looking better and play better. I mean, not only that, but they also help with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well, so doing a Kid Icarus remake would be really good for that. The environments of that game also look fantastic, so it's almost too perfect. I mean, that or that's just my inner fan wanting this game to happen. Now, switching back to Zelda for a bit, a remake of Oracle Seasons has been rumored for a very long time, but that's not the one that I'm going to be pointing to. I know some people probably have that in their head as well. If you guys didn't catch the video I did on it, there was a trademark for the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap that appeared, so a remake for Minish Cap could also come as well. But in my mind, I would think Grezzo would do a better job with that than, say, Bandai Namco. Grezzo was the company who did the Link's Awakening remake, and they handled that game really well. It was fantastic. Not only that, but one or two years ago, they were also hiring for a stylish medieval game, so I personally would like to see Grezzo do a remake of Minish Cap or another Zelda game instead of Bandai Namco. Though Bandai Namco could do a fantastic job with that as well, because they are good at making those kind of games as well. But in all seriousness, this is pretty cool, and it's going to be interesting to see what remaster or remake they put out. I mean, heck, who knows? Maybe we can get Star Fox 3D from the 3DS, we could put that on the Switch, or even, you know, it would be really cool, Metro Prime Hunters, a remake or remaster of that as well. I mean, Metro Dread definitely gave Samus a huge boost in popularity among the Nintendo Switch fans and just a general audience. Make sure you guys tell me what remaster or remake you would like to see from past Nintendo games to hit the Nintendo Switch. And moving on, it seems that we could see new info from Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, as well as any other Pokemon plans that Pokemon and Game Freak have. Now, usually we get Pokemon news from the Pokemon Direct, right? But this time, it's a little bit different. We're going to be getting this news from Pokedoko 4, or potentially getting news, I should say. And this is going to air on April 24th. I don't know why the script says 34th. That date doesn't even exist. But anyways, on their website, they are announcing that they are going to have the latest news of Pokemon games. Now, credit to this goes to Twitter handle PM.net, who found this on their website. This is what he said. The TV Tokyo Summer for Pokedoko 4, which airs on April 24th, 2022, indicates that they will have a segment with the latest information on Pokemon games. The new game information will most likely be announced this week before it airs on the show. Now, since then, Central Leaks, a Pokemon-centric Twitter account that talks about Pokemon leaks, has picked this up and mentioned that in the past, this Pokemon variety show has baited Pokemon fans and showcased old news. Now, considering that this isn't a Pokemon Direct, I don't think it's going to be significant news. And if it was, I would be shocked personally. Why would Nintendo and Pokemon and Game Freak give us Gen 9 news so close to E3 or what was E3, I should say? This is usually brought to us in a Pokemon Direct. I could see it part of a Pokemon Direct during that time or even before. Because remember, E3 is canceled, but I think Nintendo is going to still do their thing. And I still think we're going to see something from Game Freak about Pokemon in Gen 9. And the fact that E3 is canceled, why not just show that information earlier or have a tease for information during that time. Because if you guys didn't notice, there really isn't a lot of people talking about Pokemon anymore. So building that excitement for E3 is something that the Pokemon company maybe wants to do. And maybe they'll do it through this Pokedoko 4 airing. But overall, this is some interesting stuff. Something that I'm sure will end up giving us some fun things to play and talk about over the next couple of months until E3 and maybe even after E3. Again, I keep forgetting that E3 is cancelled. I just gotta call it, I guess, the June Nintendo Direct. And you know what? Even if nothing comes from this, I think there's still plenty to look forward to on the Nintendo Switch, so that's completely fine by me. But now that I told you my thoughts, tell me what do you think? Do you think Pokemon info is coming? And what info do you think is going to be coming from Pokemon? And also, what do you think Bandai Namco is going to be remastering or remaking? Make sure you guys tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.